Brought to you by Bright House Financial, established by MetLife. Everyone knows divorce can be tough, and then when you factor in the money, it gets even more complicated. And at a certain point, you have to consider your retirement accounts, and that becomes part of the divorce settlement as well. But we've got some advice for you right now. Trial and family law attorney Aaron Ehrlich joins us now to explain how retirement savings can stay intact post-divorce. Man, I mean, people save for years, and the reality of it is that even though you might have started saving for your retirement in your 20s, after you get married, that's community property, right? Yes, mm -hmm. sort of. Okay. Uh, there is a little bit of a hiccup to that. Um, generally speaking, retirement accounts, pensions would be considered marital property that would be subject to equitable distribution. Mm -hmm. However, if you have a plan that was in place before you got married, that would not be considered Interesting. marital property. That would be considered non-marital property, which you would be able to retain during a divorce proceeding. Of course, you'd have to value what the account was at the time that you got married and then just subtract it out. So you'd get to keep the portion that you invested prior to being married. Exactly. But not what you invested afterwards. What you invested afterwards would be considered marital property, so, most likely. And just to be clear, yeah. you know, every state does this differently, so it is important that you would, you know, you consult with an attorney if yeah. you can, or that you do some research in your own state just to confirm what those marital property rules are. So, what's the best bit of advice you would give somebody who's, you know, looking at a possible divorce and considering their 401k and other investments that they have? Well, the the thing with considering, I think people assume that they want to keep it, yeah. that they want to be able to retain that value. The problem that people don't always foresee is that down the road, that pension is going to be taxable. And that lessens the value of that plan. And so when you're doing a divorce settlement and you're distributing up your assets, mm -hmm. you need to make sure that you're thinking about what that value actually is going to be down the road. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's one of the things you have to consider. You know, when you think about divorce, you think, okay, here are the assets, how much are they worth, divide them down the middle yes. and separate them. But you're not just looking at the, the dollar amount. Right. Right. value it, you you are mm. that's the starting point but the face value isn't the full picture mm. you need to make sure it's like if you have a house you see a, you see the face value of the house you see what it's worth however everyone realizes and this is just a more common thing people mm. realize that houses have mortgages they have real estate taxes there's financial obligations that attach to this asset which make the asset worth something else right. and that's something that people don't always factor in especially if you're going at it on your own it's very interesting complicated but very yes. interesting <laughs> very complicated uh, Aaron Ehrlich, you are a trial and family law attorney. Thank yes. you so much for Thank coming. Thank you for having me. Brought to you by Bright House Financial, established by MetLife.